Exposure is found under the color correction category, and this is going to be most useful when applied to footage or photos that have 32 bits of color depth. So I'm working in at 32 bits per channel right here, and I also have this HDR environment map from HDRI Haven that has 32 bits per channel color data within it. So I have Lumetri scopes open right here so that I can see the waveform of my image as I make adjustments. And it's very clear that there are a lot of values above the 255 maximum 8-bit depth standard range. But with the exposure applied to that image, I can grab the exposure value right here and dial it back. And as I do this, you see all of this color information coming back in from those clip values up at the top. At the same time, we can see over here much more detail in the sky. In fact, as I do this, it's very clear to see that this photo was actually taken at night. And the name of the photo is Pond Bridge Night, so that makes sense. But this looks much more like nighttime now because we've lowered the exposure to a point where none of those values are getting clipped anymore. Then we have offset, and you can think of this as kind of the darks or the shadows control. It doesn't do much to the highlights so much as it just controls the darks, and it is pretty touchy. So you could hold down Control or Command to modify this value in smaller increments. Let me reset the whole effect and again show you. Exposure is basically controlling the brightness overall, and it's trying to simulate the exposure of a camera, basically, if you're familiar with photography. Offset is going to control those darks, and then we have gamma correction. And this also appears to kind of affect the darks more than the lights. In fact, if I turn it way down, you can see the highlights have not been affected at all. I would need to use the exposure control to do that. But gamma correction is something that you come across when you're working with footage that's shot in different color spaces, different bit depths, and even 3D renders. A lot of times you'll have to correct gamma to work in the color space that you're working in in After Effects, and this is a great way to be able to do that. Down here at the bottom, we have a checkbox called a Bypass Linear Light Conversion. If I check that on, nothing changes until I adjust this. So let me dial this back down again and then turn that off and back on. And you can see that it has a very big change on the adjustments that this effect is making. What this checkbox is doing is applying the effect to the raw unprocessed pixels. So if that's something you needed to do, that's how you would do it. All right, let's jump back up to the top here because we skipped over this channels option, which is set to master. I can change this from master to individual controls and then it's gonna give me these three controls for each color channel, red, green, and blue. So if I only wanted to dial back the blue exposure, I could do that, and it gives my image a weird color shift, but it's nice to have that added ability. You can actually do a little bit of color correction this way. But those are all of the controls for the exposure effect. Like I said, this is a great effect for 3D renders or footage shot at a higher bit depth, although you can use this on lower bit depth comps. Even if you're only working in eight bits per channel, you can still apply it and adjust the brightness of the image a little bit more like the exposure on a camera. You just won't be able to take advantage of the 32 bits per channel if you're working at 8 bits. But that's everything you need to know about the exposure effect. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, then check out the other ones here on my YouTube channel. And if you like my teaching style, then definitely check out my longer form content on Skillshare and School of Motion. And if you want to support more tutorials like this one, check out my Patreon. You can find links for all that stuff in the description of this video.